Welcome! Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can use Phaser 3's new 9 slice game object to use the 9 slice scaling technique on your game objects. So, uh, in the example on my screen here, I have this very basic uh, image game object here. And for uh, this example, um, I want to go ahead and build an option screen. And so this option screen is going to have this UI panel um, that would be displayed. And so typically, if you were to take your game object and scale it, um, it would become distorted. And so with the nine slice technique, you can go ahead and scale your image both vertically and horizontally, and it's going to keep these nice crisp edges here. Um, so one thing to note is the new uh, nine slice game object is only available for WebGL. Um, so if you are targeting Phaser Canvas, uh, it will not work. Also, if you're using phaser.auto for your mode, um, if it falls back to Canvas, then your uh, elements will not render. Uh, so for this demo, I just want to go ahead and give credit to uh, Kenny. So we're using his UI pack space expansion for our panels here. All right, so to get started, there's going to be a link in the description of this video uh, to this uh, sort this repo on GitHub here. Um, the link is going to go to this release page where you can go ahead and download a zip folder containing all the starter source code for this demo. Um, the source code is going to uh, reference this code here, um, this nine slice uh, built-in example. And it's just going to be a basic phaser three project template for TypeScript, along with the assets we need uh, for this demo. Uh, so if you can go ahead and download that link and go ahead and extract the files and open it in your ID of choice, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get started. All right, so if you go ahead and open up those files in your IDE, um, the main file we're gonna focus on is the source main.ts file. Uh, so this file here is the main entry point for our code and this will have our uh, code will be ready for this demo. Uh, so just real quick for the uh, project setup, um, we just have some settings for VS Code. If you don't use this IDE, you could ignore that folder or remove it. Um, there's some basic configuration for Vite and ESLint. Uh, the doc just has an example image that's referenced in the readme. And then the public folder has our image that we'll be using for this demo. And then finally, the index.html file, this just has our basic web page uh, with some minor CSS uh, for uh, styling our page here. Uh, so in the main.ts file, uh, basically what we've done is we've created a basic phaser three game configuration. Uh, we're targeting WebGL. Uh, we have pixel art uh, for our image here, and we just have some standard configuration for our width and height of our uh, game. Then uh, what we did is we have a custom class called game, which extends the phaser scene class. And all we've done is we've loaded in our image and then we've created an image uh, game object here. Uh, so to get started, the first thing we need to do is install our dependencies. Uh, so you can do yarn install. Um, if you don't have yarn, you can also do npm install. And what this will do is it's going to go through and install the project dependencies from the package.json file. Once your packages are installed, you can start the project by doing yarn uh, start, or uh, you can go ahead and do uh, npm run start uh, if you want to uh, use npm. And what that'll do is it's going to start a, a server um, on your local host, uh, typically at port 3000. Um, and if you go ahead and click that link, it'll open in the uh, browser here and you can see the project and it'll have hot reloading. All right, so once uh, you have the project running, uh, you should see uh, this example here with just our basic uh, image game object. All right, so nine slice scaling is a way for you to go ahead and scale your images and protect the corners of your image when you scale them. Uh, so typically, when you want to scale an image, uh, so this example here, if I want to scale it either in the X or Y uh, coordinates, is what, what will happen is because this is a smaller image, when I scale it, um, it's going to go ahead and start to become very blurry and very distorted, especially if I don't want to scale on a nice even factor. Uh, so as an example here for this image, if I wanted to create a UI panel, what will happen is I just scaled my image. You'll see now here, it doesn't look very good. Where it was nice and crisp when it was smaller, now I have these blurry edges and it just doesn't look that great. And so what nine slice scaling does is it's a technique for you to proportionally scale your image by splitting it into nine parts. And so what this will do is when you 
use nine slice scaling, you identify a set uh, number of pixels uh, for your image, for your width and your height of where you want to protect your border. Then this is replicated to your four corners. And basically what will happen is this technique will go ahead and scale the other five pieces of your image, but then protect these four corners. So then that way, when you scale your image up, it's nice and, and protected. Um, so as an example, if we go ahead and remove this real quick, and if we use that technique on a game object, uh, you'll see here that our image looks a lot better. So now this one image, I'm able to reuse it to create various components in my game. We can create a variety of UI components, buttons, and it's gonna look really great no matter what size my scale it because we're protecting that corner. All right, so to go ahead and use uh, the nine slice uh, scaling technique uh, and to go ahead and create our nine slice uh, game object, uh, what we need to do is in our create method for our class, we'll do this.add, and this is going to reference the phaser three uh, scene, and then we're gonna do nine slice. Uh, so one thing to note, uh, this is only available in versions of phaser three uh, dot 60 and greater. Um, if you have a lower version of Phaser, you'll have to use a 9-slice plugin to get this type of functionality. Uh, so in this method, like our other game objects, the first two uh, arguments it's expecting will be your X and Y position of where you want your game object to be placed. Uh, so what we'll do is I'm going to reference our width. And we'll divide it by two, we'll do our height, we'll divide that by two. Um, and so basically what we're doing here is we're using the scale uh, option. Uh, we're using the scale manager to get the width and the height of our scene. All right, and so by taking those values, divide by two, it's going to allow us to place our game object in the center of our scene here. Uh, so next we need to specify our texture um, that we loaded. Uh, so this is going to be our panel asset here. Um, that we did uh, loaded in the preload method here. Then after we specify that, so then after we specify that, uh, we can specify a frame, so we'll do zero. Uh, so like if you're using a sprite sheet, um, this will allow you to reference a different frame. And then we're going to provide the width and the height that we want for our game object. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 600 uh, by 400 pixels. And then we have to specify the dimensions for uh, where we want to make the cuts for our nine slice. Uh, so first we'll specify the left line. So how many pixels over from the left edge to our image of where we'll make the first cut. Uh, so for this, we're gonna do 32 pixels. Then we do the right, so same thing, but on the right side here. And then we do our top and our bottom. So how many pixels down we want to make our cut and then how many pixels up from the bottom where we wanna make our cut. Uh, so we're just gonna do 32 for all those values. And then once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and save. And what we'll see right away is our new uh, nine slice game object is created. And so you'll see here, we've scaled our image by using this method to create this new game object here. And so that's it. With the new built-in game object, it's very easy to go ahead and create, um, to go ahead and use nine slicing to scale up your images. Yeah. Uh, so just another thing to know is you can use this new game object to also do three slice game object scaling. Uh, so basically you just cut your uh, object into three pieces. So you do your left and right cuts, don't specify anything for the top and bottom, and then you could scale that horizontally and vertically as well. Um, so just as a reminder, uh, this uh, is only available in Phaser 3.60 and greater, and you have to target uh, WebGL. Uh, so if you target Canvas or Auto and WebGL is not available, then when you go ahead and use this method to create your nine slice game object, you'll see nothing actually gets created to the scene. Uh, so those are just two important things to go ahead and keep in mind. Uh, so there is a Phaser 3 plugin um, if you need to use it in a Canvas uh, type of game um, that will allow you to do the same type of functionality. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, just as a reminder, there is going to be a link to the complete source code uh, in the description of the video. Uh, if you did like the video or like to see additional topics on Phaser 3, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see more great Phaser 3 content, please see some of the links on your screen now.